James Earl Jones, January 17, 1931, September 9, 2024, was an American actor whose career across theater, film, and voice acting made him one of the most revered talents in the entertainment industry. Known for his deep, resonant voice and commanding presence, Jones left an indelible mark on both stage and screen for over six decades. Jones was born in Arkabootla, Mississippi, but grew up in Michigan under the care of his grandparents. He struggled with a severe stutter during his childhood, leading him to remain almost mute for several years. With the help of teachers, Jones overcame this speech impediment through poetry and acting, finding his voice in the process. After attending the University of Michigan, where he initially studied medicine, he shifted his focus to drama, a decision that set him on the path to becoming a legendary actor. Jones's early career began on the stage, and it was in theater where he first gained widespread recognition. After performing in numerous off-Broadway productions, his breakout role came in 1968 with The Great White Hope. Playing boxer Jack Jefferson, he delivered a powerful performance that earned him a Tony Award for Best Actor. The role, based on the real-life story of boxer Jack Johnson, also won him an Academy Award nomination when the play was adapted into a film in 1970. Throughout his career, Jones remained a force in theater, starring in major productions such as Othello, King Lear, Cat on a Hot Tin Roof, and August Wilson's Fences, where his portrayal of Troy Maxson earned him another Tony Award in 1987. His ability to convey emotional depth, authority, and vulnerability made him one of the greatest actors to ever grace the stage. Jones made his film debut in the early 1960s, but it was his work in the 1970s and beyond that cemented his place in cinematic history. One of his most iconic roles came in Star Wars, 1977, where his unmistakable voice was used to bring the villainous Darth Vader to life. Though physically portrayed by David Prowse, it was Jones's commanding voice that gave the character its legendary status. He reprised this role in subsequent films, including The Empire Strikes Back, 1980, and Return of the Jedi, 1983, as well as later installments in the Star Wars saga. Jones continued to demonstrate his versatility with a wide range of memorable film roles. In Conan the Barbarian, 1982, he played the menacing Thulsa Doom, and in Field of Dreams, 1989, he portrayed Terence Mann, delivering one of the film's most moving performances. In The Hunt for Red October, 1990, he took on the role of Admiral James Greer, a recurring character in Tom Clancy adaptations. Jones's voice talent reached new heights with his portrayal of Mufasa in Disney's The Lion King, 1994. His warm, authoritative delivery became the heart of the film, and the role has since become one of his most beloved. He reprised the role in the 2019 live-action adaptation, reinforcing the character's enduring impact. He also lent his presence to comedic roles, such as his part in Coming to America, 1988, where he played King Jaffe Joffer, the regal father of Eddie Murphy's character. In the sports drama Best of the Best, 1989, Jones played Frank Cuso, a tough but wise coach. His ability to adapt to various genres made him a sought-after actor in both drama and comedy. Jones continued to work consistently throughout the 1990s and 2000s. He starred in the theater stage productions of Driving Miss Daisy, 2014, Cry the Beloved Country, 1995, and By Dawn's Early Light, 1990, each showcasing his versatility and depth as an actor. He received numerous awards during his career, including three Emmy Awards, a Grammy Award, and an Honorary Academy Award in 2011 for his lifetime achievements. His voice became a staple in documentaries, commercials, and animated films and his work on television series and in voice acting further cemented his place as an irreplaceable talent. His roles in major Hollywood films like The Hunt for Red October and Field of Dreams made him a household name, while his stage work established him as one of the finest actors of his generation. It became heartbreaking news to hear that James Earl Jones passed away on September 9, 2024, at the age of 93, leaving behind a towering legacy that transcended theater, film, and voice work. Known for his deep, resonant voice that gave life to some of the most iconic characters in pop culture, such as Darth Vader and Mufasa, his contributions to cinema, theater, and television are immeasurable. 
From Shakespearean tragedies to blockbuster films, James Earl Jones was a master of his craft and will forever be remembered as one of the greatest actors of his time. His passing was met with widespread mourning from fans and colleagues alike, but his work continues to inspire and resonate with audiences across generations. His career is a testament to the power of perseverance, talent, and the ability to transcend boundaries, leaving a legacy that will endure for many years. My heart goes out to his family and friends in this time of grief. May he be guided to the warmth of heaven, where the angels will embrace this legendary actor in their arms. We may have lost the greatest and legendary actor in theater, voice, and films, but his legacy and memory will live on in his greatest movies and theater. May you rest in peace, James Earl Jones. <laughs>